Creating a professional learning library of books and publications encouraged colleagues to widen their knowledge and recommend texts to one another. Having diversity and equity as an agenda item for departmental meetings involved everyone. Sharing and discussing articles developed a culture of collaborative learning. And in these meetings, uncomfortable issues have been explored, including personal beliefs around discrimination, white privilege and assumptions. Within a safe environment, staff, staff support one another to move forward, question views and share research. An aim has been to increase awareness and conversation around diversity. A newly founded staff book group selected the text, This Book is Anti-Racist by Jill, and they focused on that. Over coffee and cake, colleagues shared their own experiences and reflected on their spheres of influence. A challenge of leading this focus is ensuring that all staff are involved and have time to reflect on their beliefs and practice and feel empowered to challenge assumptions. Allocating considerable time for professional learning on diversity during in-service days, staff meetings and departmental meetings has ensured that all staff are engaged with and are supported, supported with this crucial focus. Two colleagues are currently participating in the Building Racial Literacy Programme, and that's a really helpful source for evaluating our practice. A staff focus group has been instrumental in co-constructing a plan to lead change. This group critically engaged with publications and texts. Some are displayed on the slide shown. Guidance from Education Scotland and the Coalition for Racial Equality and Rights, and in particular their self-evaluation tool, provided a vital structure to inform and support our professional learning and identify measures of progress. 